to the very talented and lovely Kate Bush. First of all, Kate, how long have you been a vegetarian? All your life? No, I haven't. It's about five years now. And um, what made you decide in the first place? Well, I think ever since I've been quite young, I've always felt not bad, but a bit guilty about eating meat because the fact that animals are killed. And in a lot of cases, in a very unnecessary way, you know, there's a big exploitation on animals. And um, one day I just had a stew and tried to eat a bit, a bit of meat in the stew and it was so raw yes. that I just identified immediately with the fact that it was an animal, that this thing was alive and it had been killed for me to eat it. And I thought, no, I'm not into this. So I thought I'll become a vegetarian. And I didn't have a clue, you know, I had no idea what I could eat. All I knew was that people didn't eat meat or fish. <laughs> and I used to eat a lot of chocolate. <laughs> so I lived for the next week off chocolate and tea. Well, that and can't I, be very good. Well, no, this is what I thought. So um, eventually, through meeting other friends that were vegetarians and books and things, I managed to get a diet together. Good. And it's fantastic because when I ate meat, I wouldn't touch vegetables. No. I hated them. But since I've become vegetarian, I'll eat nearly any vegetable, you know. So it's really broadened my diet. Now, in front of us here, we've got some of your favourite vegetarian dishes. Is this the sort of typical food you'd serve if you had some friends coming round? Yes, it is, really. Um, my sister-in-law, in fact, cooked yes. this, and she's made a selection of salads, and probably what I'd do is just put it all in one, just make a big salad. Yes. But it is, it is what I would cook, yes. Yeah. Let's have a look at this one first. Um, and this is vegetables. What sort of vegetables are in here? Well, we've got carrots, mushrooms, tomatoes, onion and peppers. Um, they're just sort of cooked in their own juices? Yes, you did them just naturally. You can mm -hmm. cook them in... You can even cook them in marmite. That's, that's like a good gravy substitute. And yes. soy sauce is very good. All sorts of things. That's going to be served with this? Brown rice. And how do you cook the brown rice? It's very easy, really. You just um, boil it in water with salt. That looks really nutty and crunchy. It's wonderful. It's so good for you. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's the real style. Mm -hmm. Now, this here, what's this mixture? Because this really does look interesting. Well, that's roasted sunflower seeds and sesame seeds, and they're in soy sauce. I see. So you put a little bit of soy sauce just to give them a flavour and roast them. And how do you eat them? Well, you can, like, just sprinkle them over salads, which is fantastic. I see. But in fact, it's quite nice by itself. Mm. <laughs> yes, yes. Makes I... you feel a bit like a parrot, but <laughs> they're really good.